G'day you beautiful people. Today we are talking about simplicity in landscape photography. Why sometimes it is so important to get back to the basics. So, roll that intro. Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So good to see your smiling faces. Go and grab a cuppa, put your hands around it because this morning, <laughs> she's a cold one. I'm so excited to get into this time of year. Middle of September, coming to the October, beautiful fall season. I am so excited. Beautiful sunrises, beautiful sunsets. And what's even better, you don't have to wake up super early. But on this channel, I'll be playing tips, tricks, and reviews, saving you time and money in your landscape photography. But mainly, we love to get out and do what we're doing today. What I'm witnessing right now, epic landscape photography. So if that interests you, please, after this, scroll below, subscribe for future content because there is so much more to come in the next six months from this epic, epic world taking landscape photography. But mainly, I want to talk today about simplicity in photography. And the main reason I want to talk about this is because I've come off a massive, like, bigger than you can think, photography rut. I found it so hard to even look at my camera, never mind pick it up and even think to go out for sunrise and take photos. The summer for me is so difficult. Three, four a.m. starts to go out and take photos. But that is why I'm getting back out, the same as last week, doing things that I love. Finding the simplicity in photography, but mainly finding the passion that gets me out and takes my camera with me. My best friend in my hand, witnessing exactly the same things I do. So today we've come to a place called Vodnikov Razglednik. Sounds very Russian, but we are here in Slovenia. Taking, overlooking Lake Bokhin, and let me tell you, it's an absolutely epic sight, so please stick around. But simplicity in photography, getting out of photography right, doing the things you love, is what we're doing now. So let's get into it. Okay, so today's word is definitely simple, and a variation of that, this is simply beautiful. I'm getting back to the basics, the simplicity of photography, and doing things what I love. Last week, I went on a hike and took some photos of a beautiful viewpoint of Trig Lab. It's what I love to do, it's the passion. I have a huge passion to come to viewpoints such as this at 1,000 meters at sunrise and take photos. It's not the complexity of the image. It's not the exposure blending. It's not all that that I'm interested in right now. When you come up with photography right, you want to find the love and passion. And that's what I'm doing right now. Shooting with the 16 to 55, my sharpest lens at almost 35 mil, looking straight down the valley with a fog, a few mountains sticking out and the beautiful mountain in the background. But there's a few elements that I want to talk about. I've made sure there's a village just down below that's not in the fog. And there's two things. It gives scale and also separation of colour. Because in the foreground, it's very lush and green because we're at September right now. You've got the pure white of the fog, obviously. The beautiful mountain range in the background, which is just going to get that alpine glow very, very shortly. So you can see I'm going for three elements. The colour the beautiful scale of the mountains and also the tiny scale of the village. And then it gives me the easiness of focusing on the background so I can make sure everything's in focus. No exposure bracketing, no exposure blending in post-production, hardly any post-production. But the biggest value today is the simple in-camera photography and the simple life for me, getting back out and finding the love and passion for this again. 
So that's what I, the, really the only thing that I want from today, a beautiful image and a big rosy smile. So I've got the in-camera settings down packed. I just have to wait for the sun behind me to fully rise to get that alpine glow on the mountains. Then I'm gonna take one of, the, one of the most beautiful and happiest photos I can this morning. It's so goddamn good to be back out taking photos. I am so pumped. Oh, it's getting to the good time of the year to take photos. Stick around because this photo is going to be absolutely epic. We're lying there on the bed above the sheets. No one's saying a word, but I can feel your heartbeat. I stare into your eyes and you into mine Lying perfectly still like we are frozen in time I don't want this to be over Don't want the morning to come My head upon your shoulder Radio, just a few final tweaks in camera, but very good decisions by me in this morning. Good to see my brain still works in the morning and when I have to make split decisions. I wanted to shoot this side of the out, which is the side that I live. It's best for sunrise, but as I'm looking behind the camera right now, there is nothing in the sky. It is boring as bat poop. But on the other side, Everything is beginning to happen. We've got the cloud inversion, simplicity at its best, the sun rising hitting Vogel, the ski center here in Lake Bokken. 2,000 meters, two and a half thousand meters some places, and just getting that red alpine glow. This is simplicity at its best. So, focusing to almost infinity, F11, it's giving me one over 13 shutter speed readout two second timer, have my white balance locked down to daylight. Now, two seconds, one second. Here is this simply stunning image from Lake Bokhin or Vudnikov Razglednik. Enjoy this beautiful photo. I don't even know what to say. Simple, but simply beautiful. Guys, you can see from the image, a long time has passed, but I have just sat there. I sat there, I sat there. I went back to sitting there, and then back to sitting there. And just stared because it is so, so breathtaking it's amazing even tomorrow morning i'm getting up at 2 a.m to do a hike hopefully for sunrise if the weather's perfect because it might sound stupid but for me it's so simple to go and do this like last week to go for sunset it, it, it's just what I love to do. It's the simple things in photography and in my life to get back out there. Sometimes as photographers, we can overcomplicate things. Focus here, focus there, focus there, focus, stack in Photoshop, exposure blend, sky replacements. No, sometimes it's just about getting out there and witnessing things just like this. It's backlit. The mountains, the valley, it's simple. Anyone can take this photo. It is so simple. You can join one of my photography workshops. Come here from the car, about a two minute hike, and you're here to take 
a simply stunning image. But guys, let me know in the comments below, when was the last time you went out and took the simplest of photos? No complex, no focus stacking, exposure blending, just a simple photo that turned out simply beautiful. If you have it on Instagram, Facebook, tag me in it, at Matthew Story Photography. I want to see it. I want to see your simply stunning photos that made you go out as a photographer, but made you come back as a very, very happy human being, like I am today. I'm going back now to watch one of the 40 finals, having a coffee, probably two because I'm going to be tired, sleep, get up tomorrow at 2am and do a hike. But guys, let me know in the comments below. Simple is best, but it's not always best, but it is best when you're out of photography rut. Tape in your photos, photography workshops are in a link below. But today has been an absolutely beautiful day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining me today. Ciao.